Then cometh Jesus with his disciples unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto them, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment, and it was early. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered unto the Jews. And now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? I find in this man no fault at all, this man you've brought unto me. Will ye therefore that I release him unto you? What wrong has he done? It was his calling to prepare the way for us. He is Messiah. This man is the Your dream. 
I stood there in the garden Watching his blood be shed for me He spoke not one complaint Although I knew his agony And suddenly a crowd appeared And I could not believe what I saw now betrayed the Son of God and as they laid their hands on him I reached to grab my sword but Jesus pulled my hand away and spoke these simple Peace I leave with you, my peace I give now unto you, let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid, for my peace I give unto you. I went into the city where they would try him for his crime. This man so badly beaten, he should not have been alive. And although he was a perfect man, they called for him to This man whom they'd seen raise the dead bring sight unto the blind. And as they led the sun away, he must have sensed my pain. For Jesus was my tears away and spoke these words again peace I leave with you my peace I give now unto you let not your heart be troubled nor let it be afraid for my peace I give unto you. I followed them to the hill where they would crucify my Lord. I saw them nail his hands and into a wooden board and as they raised him on the cross I felt an emptiness inside for on this day on Calvary my Lord for me And as I looked upon the cross, my eyes filled up with tears. But once again, my Savior's words of love silenced my fears. Peace. I leave with you my peace I give now unto you let not your heart be troubled nor let it be afraid
wait for my peace I give unto you for my peace I give unto you He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, wherein was never man yet laid. There laid they Jesus. Mary Magdalene was the first to come to the sepulchre after the crucifixion. When she saw that the stone had been rolled away and that the tomb was empty, she ran to tell Peter and John. Come and see the sepulchre where we have laid my Lord. Come and see the empty tomb. The two apostles came to see, then left sorrowing. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre, and seeth two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith unto them, They have taken my dear Lord away. They've laid him, I know not. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, please tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus 
Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. 